and Dora. It's a town where nothing much ever happens. This is where I live with my family. <laughs> Doctor said we'd be lucky if Arnie lived to be 10. I could go at any time. Arnie, don't be rude. Some days you want him to live. I kill him, Gilbert. I know, buddy. Okay, son, come down now. Bye. Some days you don't. When is this gonna stop? And then there's Mama. Then my mom in there. You see, with Mama, there's no nice way to break it to you. She's not all that big, Gilbert. And I saw a guy at the state fair who was a little bit bigger. I haven't always been like this. I haven't always been like this. Gilbert. The rest of his body will keep on mating. And then when they're done, she'll eat him. The story revolves around Gilbert Grape, played by Johnny Depp. A young man in a small Midwestern town struggles to care for his mentally disabled young brother and morbidly obese mother while attempting to pursue his own happiness. What's Eating Gilbert Grape is a beautifully shot movie of tenderness, caring, and self-awareness that is set amongst the fictional working class one street town in Zora. Centered around the Grape family, Ellen and Amy and their two brothers, Arnie and Gilbert, who along with their morbidly obese widowed mother, Bony Grape, are striving to survive and coexist with the absence of a father figure. Low-wage work, and 17-year-old Arnie's severe mental condition. Good day everyone! Today, we will try to explain the theme of the 1993 American film entitled What's Eating Gilbert Grape? To start with the film What's Eating Gilbert Grape? One of the most important things we have to bear in mind is that this film talks about familial responsibility. Throughout the film, we can see the sacrifice of Gilbert after their father's premature death. Gilbert took all the responsibility of being a father to his siblings and taking care of his mentally delayed younger brother, Arnie Graves. Gilbert is expected to hold a steady job in order to provide financial to the family. We can also see in the film that his older sister Amy took the maternal role. She cooks, do the household chores, and even assists the repair of the family's problem. They are still young and it is evident that their emotional development has been stunted because they have been expected to behave like adults. The next thing we need to focus on the film is the courage of the Grape siblings. Although there are many ways in which courage is represented in the film, uh, simply moving forward and fighting all the problems clearly show how persevere in life the siblings are. Grape family is uh, pushed to reevaluate re re their functionality, their domestic duties, and their own mental health st statuses in order to preserve their longevity. Last but not the least, this film teaches us how powerful love is. This film provides a realistic depiction of love. We see how each member of the great family loves one another. Even Boney, despite her inability to support her family, is repeated shown hugging, kissing, and praising her children. Out of love, Gilbert has to put his life on hold in order to take care of her Annie and maintain a steady job in order to pay his family's bills. Likewise, Amy has opted out of her culinary aspiration in order to cook and clean for her siblings. When, when Gilbert falls in love with Becky, we see how his heart opens. His decision to introduce Becky to Boney indicates the love and trust he has in their relationship. In loving someone else, uh, Gilbert is able to learn how to love himself. This realization drives him to burn his home and start a new stage of his life without burdens.
kukurian. Papabayang ko lang siya, wala namang magbabantay. Dinala ko na lang siya dito. Ganyan, wala kang inuuwian doon, wala ka yung kasama, kayo lang, wala kang makakain. Gusto mo ba, dito ka lang muna. Sige, ma'am. Minsan lang, nangibilang kan. Paano mo siya pinapainom? Yung ganito, tapos papainom na siya. Hindi ko man yan papabayan. Hadi na yatak po. Hindi ko yan papasag na nilis. Ibiling ko. Napalit na. Nagtutok. Naglalabay yung damit niya. Nagpapaligo. The sacrifice of a son that stood up as a parent to his siblings. That describes one side of the film, and that is also the side that can describe the story of Alexis Peralta, an 11-year-old kid that was featured in the drama anthology Magpakailanman. It was entitled Kuya na Nanay pa, The Alexis Peralta Story. Alexis's mother left him and his two other siblings in the hands of their stepfather in order to work in Manila. Little did the mother know that the stepfather is always hurting the three kids, and therefore, Alexis decided to leave that place with one of the siblings, AJ, which has cerebral palsy. And they stayed from one place to another, and then Alexis decided to just go into school carrying AJ with him. Even if it was a 3-kilometer walk, he still persevered to do so. He sits in the class with AJ on his lap, and his teacher took a photo of him, which went viral on the internet. And that's why the story was disclosed. From our science literature, I've learned how important a family is, whether if it's blood-related or not. A family that will accept you for who you are and will push you to happiness. Now, from the story of the 11-year-old kid, it makes me realize how privileged I am when I was at that age. Uh, it should inspire more people to help those in need of attention and care, especially with the kids. Let us not just save for our privileges, instead let's use those things to further help other people. For my personal insights, I learned that for the sake of the security and longevity of the family, we will do everything to become a better paternal or maternal role for your siblings. I am quite amazed uh, on how Gilbert and his older sister, uh, Bonnie, handled all their problems after their father died. I am commending their perseverance and courage given that they are still young yet fighting uh, for their, their developmentally delayed brother, uh, Arnie. Uh, what, I can, what can I say is love uh, for the family is the greatest love you can ever, ever get. So if you are doing everything for the sake of love of your family, you can do everything. And, and soon you will ever be, have a greater uh, life in the future. Uh, if I have a chance to talk to the director, what I will say is that he did a great job in uh, opening the eyes of, of the audiences. I would like to acknowledge him also uh, for his idea to bring knowledge how important family uh, in everyone's life. Um, uh, because what, what I am saying, I'm trying to say is, uh, what without any family, uh, our personality and existence uh, will become a useless one. From both stories, I learned one thing. The love for family is immeasurable. It does not matter how hard the situation is, how deep the wounds could be, 
or whatever that life throws at me, as long as it is for the benefit of my family, in the end, it's going to make me happy. Now, if the same situation happens to me, I will go on and fight to take the challenge of life. I may not have the same guts as the two main characters, but I know I will regret it more if I didn't do my best to change our situation. Now about the topic, I think it will never grow old. It doesn't matter how many times a similar story is told, because we all know that the love for family is gold. Gilbert Grape is a story of pure heart, testing the bonds of familiar relationship, and representing the value of understanding the struggle of mental health, all while offering one of the real tale of pain, acceptance, and growth. It is a creative film about Gilbert Grape where the plot revolves around the development of his role within a dysfunctional family and what lengths Gilbert will take in a world that feels restricting. Gilbert is a young man living in Nora Loa a colorless town with even more detached atmosphere than Gilbert's bleak outlook on life. He was forced to be the breadwinner of the family when his father committed suicide years prior and with his mother struggling with obesity that leaves her bed with him. Gilbert takes ownership with his two sisters and wonderful bright-eyed Arnie, his younger brother who, he, who has autism. Throughout the film, mental health plays an overarching theme offering the heart-wrenching truth behind the closed door of traumatic experience and the border of human sight. These struggles are embedded within the film. Emma Gray suffered from depression after the suicide of her husband and struggled with severe obesity that causes a multitude of problems. She realized the severity of her situation but tries to ignore it, instead placing most of her attention on her children Despite what may be perceived on screen, I believe that Mama Grape is a true resilient and loving mother who fearlessly protects her family. Meanwhile, Arnie Grape displays a classic autism with abundance of chaotic mannerism and bursts of emotion that can be stressed, inducing to the family. Yet not unfamiliar to their lifestyle, however, his presence in the family is ever constant and purposely with the elements of personal strength. Lee Gilbert himself struggled with the buildup of weight on his shoulder as he takes the role of reverse parenting since the passing of his father. Because he takes the position seriously, it is truly draining on his psychological level. While the intensity of the struggle with mental health is high, it is altogether insurmountable. With the arrival of Becky and Gilbert's newly found passion for more in life, his stone cut exterior cracks just enough to let some warmth and light back into the grape household making way for a new era of acceptance, breaking the stigma of mental health issues, and focusing on reconnecting as a family. In conclusion, What's Eating Gilbert Grape presents a dysfunctional family that function in the best way they know how, showing true grit and compassion. A key virtue to be gained from this film is recognizing the importance of support in times of need especially of mental health, though it takes dark twists and turns into an inevitable climax, what's eating Gilbert Grape Mars in our heart, the true value of family. That's all, thank you.